Notion just dropped a powerful new feature, and it's called Feed View. Imagine turning any database into a scrollable, interactive stream like Slack meets LinkedIn, but fully customizable. Here's what it is, how it works, and why it might change the way that your team communicates with hints to the future. Today's video is kindly sponsored by Setup. If you're interested in those guys, you've got a Mac or an iOS device, this is a must have. Check it out in the link in the description and more about them later. So diving into this, the feed view pretty much transforms your database into stacked cards, a little bit like a blog or a social feed. Each item appears as a post and you can scroll through them, open them, comment on them, or even track views. This is really simple and it isn't just a pretty layout. It can be used for a wide range of situations. It's built for internal updates, project communication, and even asynchronous culture. So here's some examples you could use it in the wild. Team updates. For example, you could use this area to post weekly wins or leadership notes that may be useful company-wide. You could also use this for project status updates, like latest changes from product or engineering, or even company-wide announcements, making it comment-friendly for your team to interact on. Now, as you can imagine, it's built in Notion, which means you can customize what shows up, so like tags, owner's dates, or just hide the details. Now, this is incredibly valuable. In terms of how you could use this beyond that, I thought of a few examples. If you run a community in Notion, it could be a good way of keeping you and your Notion community members updated or maybe even a client-facing Notion database. This could be a great way to update those in the workspace or in the project or the database that you're using. Another useful way to use it. But think of where this could go next. Now, of course, this is edging closer to make it feel like a Slack-like feature. For example, we saw this with charts and forms becoming their own thing. But I want to skip back to December 2024 when they didn't purchase a company called Campsite, but they acquired two of the founders of Campsite, and Campsite itself started winding down. For those who don't know what Campsite is, it was a team workspace for team communication to be a little bit more asynchronous and chill. The application allowed you to do messaging, uh, updates, and also calls and documents as well. And it looked very much like Notion if it was its own application. Now, do you remember when Notion Calendar came out and they connected the Notion Calendar with the Notion Calendar abilities within Notion? Well, this could very much be the other way around. This could be a precursor to the experience coming that Notion may call Notion Chat or Notion Call. I don't know what it's called, but the idea that you'll have a separate service that is Slack replacing and connects to a Notion database straight away could be very exciting. This is all obviously completely speculation, but I believe even in between now and then, if that's were the case, this can be a very useful way for your team to keep updated. Whether you're replacing a weekly update doc or even a Slack thread, this could be a way through. So big thanks for stopping by in this video. I'll include the link to the feed view below, but I'm pretty sure you can just tap press slash feed and get started straight away and it's rolling out to users. So let me know what your thoughts are. Is this the precursor to Slack or the Slack killer? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much, and I'll see you very soon. Cheerio. Are you tired of looking for the right app? Well, Setup gives you instant access to over 260 hand-picked apps for iOS and Mac, all in one place. Whether you need to convert a file, clean your drive, or write that article, just type your task into Setup and its AI-powered search suggests the perfect app all the time. It's almost as good as having me nearby. Have you got a big goal? And if you have a big goal in mind, you can use Setup's collections feature. This is a curated bundle of tools for a specific goal in mind. A great way to tackle some complex tasks with a bunch of tools that are available in Setup. So each app has user reviews allowing you to get insight on each of them before you download it so that you can install each one with confidence. So you can try it today under one subscription, countless possibilities, and that's Setup. Link will be below.